Hey everybody, I've got a 1998 Honda Civic here and it's throwing a code P0505 idle air control circuit malfunction and um, what I'm going to do today is remove the idle air control valve which is on the back of the intake um, manifold by the, the throttle body and this is the the unit right here um, throttle body is up over here and we have a uh, throttle position sensor so the only thing you have to do here is remove these two bolts and um, I've already got them loose but I just want to show how easy it is to remove this thing And there is a connector um, that goes down on the bottom here. You want to make sure you remove that first. And then the only other thing is there's two air hoses that go into this thing. And they do have clamps on them. So uh, you'll have to get a pliers or something and squeeze the clamps together. But I can see here that this thing is is actually pretty dirty and crusted up and that's probably what my problem is uh, providing that the motor on this thing is okay and it's just a valve and the computer tells it when to open and close and um, I can clearly see that you know this thing I don't know if that's a screen or or what's going on there but um, that thing is extremely dirty so I'm going to take that out, clean it, and hopefully it fixes the problem. If not, um, may have to replace the the uh, valve itself, but it's a pretty expensive part. It's about 120 bucks, but I've I've heard people finding them for about 30 bucks. So anyway, uh, just wanted to show what that is. I may uh, might take another shot here after it's cleaned up. Okay, I've got this valve out here and uh, I cleaned up the screen on it. Uh, there was a bunch of junk and, and carbon up on there. Um, these lines, believe it or not, go to the cooling system and I went to blow out the lines on the car and uh, coolant started coming, blowing out of the lines. So uh, I took this thing out and uh, actually air blowed everything and made sure uh, everything was clear but these two lines right here must cool the air or something I, I don't know why they would have uh, coolant lines going up there but what I wanted to show you is I'm gonna test this thing and I've got a motorcycle battery here and there's two leads going on this thing and I'm just going to take my test lead and put it, touch it on the battery and you'll be able to see that this motor is actually working. See when I touch on the battery it's opening and closing the valve. So I know the unit is good. Um, it was probably just a dirty screen so I'm going to put it back on there and hopefully my code will go away. Okay I will uh, let you know if that took care of it. Okay, I just got done putting the IAC valve back in and I'm going to do a scan. Okay, no trouble codes. Awesome. Problem solved.